First meal in Paris. How do you feel? When considered a meal, <laughs> still good. <laughs> oh my god. How am I always waiting on you? I've been ready. What is that behind you? Do you, you don't see that behind you? Oh, no. yeah, I do. <laughs> Look at that sphere. It's wild though. You see these type of things in like postcards and pictures and stuff. And it's almost like an illusion when you come, come see them. I just want to say, the odds that me and this lady over here overcame to come to the spot right now is ridiculous. Between this leg, us almost missing how many flights, our flight cancellation, our having to steal a wheelchair just to get onto a connecting flight, and look where we are. So. I don't want to hear any excuses if you're from Kentucky, if you're from uh, Nova Scotia and you're taking a sled dog to go get milk in the morning, or even if you're milking your own milk. You can do whatever you need to go anywhere you want, especially places like this, especially with the people you love, missing a knee and all, anywhere you need to go. All right? Bye. After sleeping in all morning, after we slept in all morning, it was cloudy, you know, knocked out till probably 12, wanted to get up at 9. Put Clam here, and guess what? The sun was out. Perfect. <laughs> no, don't get me wrong and everything, I love New York, but Washington Square Park is nothing on that. He has no idea. Alright, so, the sea was probably having a heart attack this whole time. I had to run across all that, just to get right underneath here. Say it was pretty worth it.
unfortunate that it's a Mora. At least this one has a red carpet. When you can only make it halfway per crossing. <laughs> First full day. How are the crutches treating you? Pretty good. You should see this girl. She is a trooper and a half. I don't think anybody could be doing all these walk ups, all these. Oh, I wonder what's going on over there. So, where are we off to now? Um, Bond Parnasse Tower. And what are, what are we gonna go do there? Drink champagne, and apparently they have nice sunsets, and you can see all of Paris. Hmm. Hopefully, the highlight will be on um, fleek up there. <laughs> Yo, honestly, I may mess around and propose you. Okay. <laughs> Usually we hate sitting next to each other and having drinks and sitting next to each other and eating, but it's kind of hard to argue with the other group. Gotta get this girl some food. <laughs> So my dish came. You know, I guess they don't like serving dishes together. It's eleven o'clock now. Well, to be fair, I got a seafood dish, so they're still out there catching the fish. <laughs> <laughs> at least I'll be fresh. But yeah, at 11 o'clock. It's better for it game to be good. Uh, I, I, that, that was one worth the week. I'm not even a broad. <laughs> Ready to dig in? Can you repeat what you just said like a couple minutes ago? Just so we have this on record. Alright. So I I was caught on a piece of shrimp and I kept asking, take a shot, try a piece of shrimp, try a piece of shrimp. I didn't want to because it looks like Yeah, that. But it literally melts into your mouth as I can't get it into my forehead. It literally melts in your mouth. So I go, Sierra, you try this right now. 
I will add a fifteen hundred dollar budget to your game. Okay. And it was worth it. It was worth it. Oh, Another fifteen hundred. That doesn't count. Okay, it does. We're at three thousand right now. <laughs> Keep it coming. <laughs> Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Wow. Joining them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Entertainment. Oh, it's getting faster. Good view.
Then you end up stealing my food. Right? You still stole my food. How long does it take him to open this? <laughs> what did you do last time? Didn't it spill everywhere? <laughs> Thank you to you. Happy birthday, dear Jay. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Full disclosure, I'm going to be showing you our Airbnb the day we're leaving. We completely forgot to videotape any of it when we arrived, but I'm going to give you a quick view of about what $75 a night could get you in price. All right, so after five floors, let's see exactly what we got. Boom. Immediately you walk in, you tell that it's a pretty tight space, but right away it draws you to the left. Inside the bedroom is this lovely balcony. Oh, look who's already sitting out right here. I'm probably trying to take photos outside. <laughs> I'm like out of breath. You walk up, you get that view right there. I'll take you back inside. You got a little bedroom. You get the bathroom, which did pose a few challenges because of how tight it was. The also the electric toilet. Whoever decorated this <laughs> loves their books <laughs> and records. You got a nice little kitchenette. I did my makeup on the table every day. Oh, yeah, did you? Although, what she loved about this was this huge mirror over here, so she could keep taking a look at all her. Oh, <laughs> uh, a nice little sitting area out here, which I did keep saying that I was going to do homework on. But, looks like I'll be doing it in the airport. <laughs> so. You're so out of breath. Yeah, I know, because I ran up all in one, all in one thing. But, this is basically what uh, $75 a night could get you in Paris. We were too hungry to wait to show you. This is what's left over of mine. Was it good? Full trip was good. Bye, Paris.